already subscribed, please be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and adding us to your YouTube channel. Enjoy this blender! For this blend off, we are using the high powered Blendtec blender, the popular Vitamix blender, the Ninja Mega Blending System, and the high speed NutriBullet RX. Here's a good way to easily clean your blender. Cleaning your blender can be a pain in the butt sometimes. The easiest way to clean your blender is to add water and dish soap into the blender jar and let it run on a high speed for around 30 seconds. This will loosen up all the leftover gunk inside the jar and allow you to rinse it clean more easily. A nice feature that comes on the newer Blendtec and Vitamix blenders is the self-clean mode. This automatic clean mode allows you to push a button and walk away from the machine. It slows down, speeds up, and stops all by itself. You don't have to worry about stopping the blender, which gives you the freedom to leave and come back. As the blender runs its cycle, you can see the gunk on the jar slowly start to get sucked into the soapy water as the blender cleans itself. The Ninja Blender and Nutribullet Blender can also be cleaned the same way. Letting your blender run at a high speed with water and dish soap is a technique that you could use with any blender. It is also a good way to get the smells out from previous recipes out from the blender jar. Sometimes if you don't clean the blender thoroughly, the jar can absorb the smells from the recipes you make. The Nutribullet only has one speed that goes very fast, which is great for cleaning. The Ninja Blender has various speeds to choose from. Select one of the faster speeds so the water and soap can reach the lid. Thicker recipes such as nut butter, dips, and thick batters might require a little more work to clean. That's why we recommend the soapy water technique so you could loosen up the gunk. Rinse your lid off using the same soapy water from the jar. This will get most of the gunk out from the lid. The soapy water techniques works well to loosen up the gunk left over, but you'll need to finish off cleaning the blender with the sponge. The Blendtec dull blade design allows you more freedom to reach down and around the blades without fear of cutting your fingers. The Vitamix container also has a lot of room to reach down and around the blades, but the blades are sharp so you have to be a little more careful. The Ninja has the sharpest and most dangerous blades for cleaning. Be very careful while cleaning them, people have cut themselves. The Nutribull also has sharp blades, but the bottom piece comes apart from the pitcher, which makes it fairly easy to reach in and around. After you clean the blender off with the sponge, simply rinse it off in the sink and let it dry. Make sure to research more about these high-powered blenders and find which one is best for you. A link to the review is below this video.